Well, let's get into uh, this week's episode. And before we do, I'd like to ask everyone listening to take off their hats for a moment of respect. If you're drinking, pour just a pour a cup for the goat, because it was Odin's last day. <laughs> uh, what a fucking day it was! Like seriously, what a legendary end. Like I, I'm not gonna lie. I did shed a fucking tear at the end there. Like, I, full on. Just like, towards the end, it's just like, yep, full on tear. There it is. You got me. I, I, I didn't think I'd care too much, but I did. I think I saved myself from crying by finishing the, uh, the phrase before, you know, the rest of the crowd did. Oh no, that phrase was already finished within my head, and like, the moment I thought about it, it's just like the moment the tears started to well up, and it's just like, oh no, no! I thought when they were playing like a sadder version of his, uh, of that song. Yeah. It's like, yo, you're really selling how sad this shit is, and I love it! But I also feel so dead inside. Like, just... Such a huge amount of manliness in that moment. It's just like, just like <laughs> when you think about the fact that kind of wants to die a significant death, and just like I feel you right now in this moment because at the same time I'm just like the thought is just like I'll just be happy if I'm a good story over a cup of sake. I'm just like God damn, that's a badass statement. Yeah. A, a full-on hero luck moment. It's just like a man only truly dies when he is forgotten. And the legend of Odin will never be forgotten. Fuck no. Odin, Odin, like I said, is the GOAT. <laughs> Everything we've seen of him so far has been proof of that. Odin was like... I don't, I don't know what else to say. Odin was the shit. I loved him, and I'm beyond disappointed that he died. But, you know, you realize that it's, for the narrative's sake, it's meant to spur on the vassals. Yeah, and not just the vassals, the whole of Wano, too. All of Wano was on Odin's side at that point. So, you know, for the next 20 years, Orochi just had to be a giant asshole. <laughs> yes. Oh, God, what a dick. Yeah. Pure 100% little dick energy. He's got one point of PP energy. Oh, yeah, and what's that? Just one, no, no, just one point. <laughs> whereas, like, whereas, like, characters like Luffy or Zoro are in, like, the millions, Orochi <laughs> has exactly one. The absolute showed energy coming off them is just eclipsing. He has a Tic Tac. Let me put it that way. <laughs> oh, that's man. the kind of PP energy he's giving off. I mean, ultimately, that's what it came down to. It's just like, Odin knew what was going to happen regardless. It's just like, yeah, I'm I'm definitely going to die here. There's no way they're going to just let us off the hook or anything like that. But it served as a way of just making sure the people knew what Orochi was about, knew the kind of dishonorable bastard that he is and it's just like you can't trust this man there's no bargaining with this man do what you can to survive until he can finally be toppled that's ultimately what he the message that odin was trying to get across it's just like this man is the most reprehensible person imaginable do what you can to live through this you know, what, you know what really, really sucks? As much as I hate to say it, I feel Orochi's motive, though. Oh, yeah. When, yeah. Like, don't get me wrong. You know, what he's doing as a result is fucking terrible, but... Y'all, I might have done the same shit if y'all punished my whole ass family for the sins of my grandfather. Like, I'm... The man was, like, this man was eight years old when these dudes rolled up on him trying to kill him. Kill him! I mean, I get why you're upset about that, but damn, bro, you're trying to just destroy a whole-ass country for that. See, and that's the sad thing, too. It's just, like, had Odin met Orochi, like, much earlier on in their lives, 
you know that he would have easily taken him on as a true person, like the... Like, the lie that he put forward to Sukiyaki and the rest of the, like, oh, me and Odin are best friends, like, we really care about each other, blah, blah, blah. Like, it easily would have been made true, because Odin's just that kind of a dude. He doesn't care about who you are, he cares about what you do. But no, you know, Orochi had to just grow up angry and bitter, and you there's no blaming him for feeling that way. It's just like the it's that just that the methods that he chose to go about all that anger and bitterness just entirely reprehensible. I mean his soul is rotten to the core. Granted, uh Higurashi wasn't really the best influence when you think about it. No. Higurashi set so many things into motion that <laughs> let's be honest, ended up getting her ass killed in the end. Like, all this, and you still ended up dying because of all these ambitions. I think for the most part, like, Kaido just kind of killed her, because, like, bitch, you had to steal that victory for me, and you couldn't let me have it on my own? Nah, fuck you. I honestly legitimately think Kaido wanted to just, like, when he and Odin were, like, just about to clash... And then, you know, Higurashi comes in disguising herself as Momo. Kaido took, Kaido hopped on the opportunity because, you know, obviously he's not stupid enough to just let that shit happen. But at the same time, it's just like, it, it's like the situation with Katakuri and, uh, Lampe. Like, bruh, you tainted my victory with that bullshit assist. How dare you? Yeah. So, like, I didn't ask you for this. I didn't request this. I didn't want to win this way. Like, I wasn't in a desperate enough situation that you needed to come in and save, try to save me or help me out. How dare you? More or less. I'm not gonna lie, though. This, ep that, this past episode was really, really hard to watch. Like, the more... The Bro, when they said, when he said add fuel, like make the fire burn hotter after it was like already past like 700 degrees, I'm like, bruh. <laughs> bruh. Like, even with that, it's just like, yeah, no. There's no living through that. Like, I love how it even kind of was just like, yeah, your body is probably dead already. I'm just going to put you out of your misery. Like, because there's no way anything below. Odin's waste was making it out of there alive. Yeah, no, that... All that has been thoroughly cooked. <laughs> thoroughly. I mean, it probably... It, like... It probably tastes delicious, let's be real. But... <laughs> but at the same time, it's just horrifying. Jesus, man. You put up with that for a full hour. And... Four. Ugh, it just... Ugh, God. Like, I love me a hot bath, but... Jeez, man. Like, full-on burn you up in seconds. No. No, please, God, no. Mm. Ugh, but... <laughs> it, it was... Uh, it's all there is to it. Like, damn, an entire episode. Let's be real. An entire episode... Dedicated to just watching him die like this. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I thought we would be burning through a lot of this stuff a lot faster, but no, we are we are just dragging through it. Which at the same time isn't a bad thing. It's not a bad like way of going through it. It's just that oh man, just lingering on his last moments. You know, twenty minutes of this is just hard to watch. God, and, like, you see him just, like, reminiscing on, like, his life in general. I I honestly think that, like, it's like you said with the whole hero look thing. I'm looking, I was looking at his flashbacks and cutting back and forth here, and it's just like, I feel like Odin's about to have that moment where he thinks to himself, I've had a life! And honestly, he kind of has. Oh, dude. Like... People can only dream of living a life like Odin. 
Like, you'd be lucky to live a tenth of his life. Like, any one thing he did would be a story in and of itself. But, like, this man, his life never stopped. It was a perpetual motion that never had, like, an ebb. Like, he came into this world fighting, and he went out fighting. Must I say, Odin wouldn't be Odin if it wasn't boiled. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm not going to lie. I think back to the first time I heard about Odin being boiled alive, and it was just like, uh, that's kind of morbid. <laughs> but actually seeing it puts it in a completely different mindset. Yeah. I mean, it's still a little, it's still pretty morbid, but it never before have I seen someone boiled alive and thought, "Damn, that's cool." Right? Like even being boiled alive, well, being boiled to death, Odin was still able to flex on everybody. <laughs> exactly. There was too much chat energy. The girth of this man is the thing of legends. And Toki took all that girth. <laughs> oh, man. Even, Look. It's even funnier when you, when you consider how short she is compared to him. Well, I'm literally looking at Odin's height right now. The man is 12'6". 12 6. 12 6? Yes, 12'6". Boy, I've been eating his Wheaties. Holy shit! <laughs> God damn! Like, let's be real. Sometimes we forget the absurd height of some people. But, like, Toki was average person height. If not, maybe a little bit taller, because sometimes the women can be a, a, a tad on the big side, too. You know, don't, don't get things wrong, but at the same time, like... Yeah, like, god damn. Dude was... The people in One Piece's heights just go out beyond the realm of common sense. They really do. You got characters who aren't even giants that are still extremely fucking giant. Well, I think it was Giant John, the one uh, ad uh, marine dude, isn't even a giant, apparently. He's just really fucking tall, right? Yeah. Like, the fuck? <laughs> so you just took on the, the moniker Giant because you're just really fucking tall. Oh, apparently that's just his name. It's, oh. it's John Giant. That is his name. John, John Giant. Okay. <laughs> Probably a reference to something, but I don't know what it is. But I like the name because it sounds funny to me. Oh, wait, no, I have to backtrack that. He is, in fact, a giant. Never mind. Oh, okay. <laughs> but the, see, the thing is, it's hard to tell sometimes. It really is with some of these motherfuckers. I mean, like, I know Luffy's a short ass. He is a short little motherfucker. I'm taller than Luffy. But when I saw him compared to Whitebeard, I'm just like, bruh, how tall... Do you eat your Wheaties, too? You are tall as shit, old man. Yeah, you, you call Luffy a short ass, but he's literally the same height as me right now. Uh, Motherfucker is 5'8". 5'8". Oh. Okay, he's shorter than me, so that's why I call him a short ass, but... <laughs> he's the shortest... Okay, not counting Chopper, Luffy is the shortest member of the Straw Hats. I... guess so? I've... I've never remember, actually thought about that. I remember looking up their heights. Um, At Luffy the has, yeah, Luffy has the shortest. Yeah, Luffy's the shortest out of all of them, excluding Chopper because his size varies. Yeah, he started. Luffy started off five seven, after a time skip, became five eight. Yeah, he is the shortest. Wild, I. Never actually thought about that. What a weird. Like, what, wait, what height is... Was, I think maybe it was because I was looking up their height for reference, and then I found out... Nope, Nami is the shortest. Oh. 
She started off 5'6", she is currently 5'7". Luffy okay. is a close second for shortest of the Straw Hats. Well, that's all I got for One Piece. Yeah, that's, dude, dude, we uh, we ran that conversation as much as we could. But let's be real. There's only so much to talk about in regards to this. Odin was epic. His vassals escaped. Let's see how far they can get. Even though we already know how far they're gonna get. Exactly. Spoilers. It's a flashback. <laughs> 